what is up guys welcome back to the channel and today got another set two uh discussion for you guys i want to talk about the set one leader goku black and its redemption arc the fact that it is a set one leader but this set one leader got the one of the most uh support out of all the leaders i believe from set one and um yeah let's really go ahead and get into it so goku black hasn't really seen too much play because it's very inconsistent current currently uh but with this new support with the new super rares within the with blue the fact that blue got a new secret rare also i think it makes blue actually uh, actually uh playable within um the new set and might be one of the strongest leaders out of the new set also but let's go ahead and go over to goku black for those that maybe just don't know so on our front side the 15k blue leader has critical but does not draw on its on its front side but permanent or uh, during your turn it gains 5k power so it's a 20 when it attacks it's a 20k uh crit attack leader so that's actually pretty cool but awaken when your life is four or less draw one card and flip this card over so on his awakening side right you when you attack you just simply draw one card but it has an activating main effect. Once per turn, you can place one Zamasu from your battle area to the bottom of your deck. Then during this turn, the next time you play a Goku Black from your hand, reduce the cost by two. So there's this main uh, Goku Black card, a six drop Goku Black card that you want to play for four. Uh, during your turn four and this goku black card is ridiculous if you keep it if your opponent um keeps it on the board for more than one turn they're probably going to be losing because you're going to gain too, so much advantage but we'll get into it that later let's go over the uh the turn by turns the play by plays of you know of the the new uh, support but the new support card the most uh support that this deck got was the new sr the super rare it's a two drop zomasu it's a 5k combo with 20k power but permanent this card can't be removed from your battle area by your opponent's skills so any type of skill doesn't matter if it's a event card i mean extra card or a battle card it doesn't matter this card cannot be removed by skills so if you played uh masters it's kind of like indestructible but um I can still be killed through battle, un unfortunately. But yeah, this permanent is still really, really good. It's an amazing card. So when attacking, discard one card from your hand and draw one card. So if you do attack, you don't have to discard to draw. I mean, you you do have to discard to draw, but in order to attack, you don't have to use this effect to... Um, um, if you attack, you don't have to, you know, uh, discard a card and draw. But let's go ahead and get to the turn uh, play by plays of the deck. So turn one, obviously you want to play a one drop. Obviously the main one drop you kind of want to play is the my future uh, on play uh, take two life. You basically want to play that card to self awaken uh, so you can go uh, self awaken fast enough so you can get that draw of power uh, with your leader on the backside. But my definitely definitely a, a staple within the deck uh, Shin. It's a new a one drop coming out of set two. Uh, look at the top five cards and grab a Patora card. So this card usually gets the new Vegito cards and the new Zamasu Fuse cards. So very, very uh, decent card to uh, play within the deck. Then your simple Trunks card, just play a card. I mean, play the card, draw one card. Then you have the one drop Gawasu that's still playable within the deck. Very, very good card. Uh, look at the top five, grab any uh, Goku Black and or Zamasu card. This card does not grab the Zamasu Fuse card because it is not considered a Zamasu. It's a Zamasu Fuse. So just be weary about that. But turn, um, still turn one, turn two. You still can play any one drop, but you definitely want to play another my the awaken turn two. Or if you don't want to play any of these, you can go ahead and play that Zamasu, the new super rare, um, coming out of set two. Just simply play the card and pass because you don't want your opponent uh, attacking into this to potentially kill this card. But um, turn three, right? Um, it's a um, say if you didn't didn't get to play your uh two drops of masu you definitely want to play a two drops of masu in any of your one drops of masu also because if you do it's a guaranteed um as goku black next turn on your turn four because your opponent there's no card combination just yet well there is but nobody plays these cards but there's no uh, card combination that can kill both of these cards on one turn on turn three you know but 
yeah, if you just drop a Zamasu in a one drop of uh, Zamasu, you're definitely going to uh, turn four uh, with your leader uh, combo. So here's the six drop um, Goku Black that I was talking about. So on your turn four, while you're awakened, um, and so forth, uh, so, so, uh, so forth through the turns, right? You can bomb deck any Zamasu card and play a Goku Black for two less. So you want to tap four energy, get to play the six drop Goku Black. Um, this has 40K power, but no combo power. Um, on play, you get to add up one card from your, um, that's four or less from your drop area to your hand. But when attacking, if you have seven or less cards in your hand, you can play a battle card that's four or less from your hand. So this card can cheat out a lot of good blue battle cards that are phenomenal within uh, the blue pool. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get to that. So turn four, you can play this new uh, Zamasu Fuse card. It's a four drop, 5K combo, a 25K uh, attack. This card is like one of the best super rares that coming out of set two. But when attacking, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, you get to draw one card. So the big, one big thing about blue, yeah, um, there's a lot of uh, card effects that says if you have seven or less cards, you can like trigger an effect. Uh, this uh, this is able to keep that hand size like around between seven or eight cards constantly um, because this card draws a card when you attack. So the fact that um, it keeps your hand size full is very, very good in blue. But when KO'd, you can play this card from your, uh, from your drop in rest mode. So for instance, if your opponent wants to attack over this card, this card comes back from your drop area in rest mode. So you have to kill this card twice um, in order to um, get this off the field for the whole turn. But uh, the only real, real color that can uh, get rid of this card easily is red because red can neg it down to zero. And if they do, um, the game mechanic will kill it instead of being KO. So you won't get that win KO effect if red negs it down to zero. But very, very, so, uh, very, very good, um, strong blue super rare coming out of Blazing Aura. But yeah, turn five. Um, say if your Goku Black still is alive, you can swing with uh, with the Goku Black and still cheat out um, like another Fuse Zamasu. You can cheat out a Trunks that can bounce the card on your opponent's side of the field, or you can cheat out another Zamasu, right? And if you do that, you can swing with this two drop Zamasu, uh, pitch a card, draw a card, and then you can use your leader effect to bomb deck to Zamasu and play another Goku Black and just start all over again. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, the fact that you can just go Goku Black, Goku Black um, the next turns and just keep on um, filling your board up with strong battle cards that just overwhelms your opponent. But then if you don't go do Goku Black route, um, you can just play another Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu, very, very strong card just to play it, drop another one, keep your hand size very healthy. Or you can play the new Secret Rare Vegito card. This card is low-key amazing. People keep people sleeping on this card, but this card is amazing, especially if you have the Goku Black and other battle cards out on the field. Just on play, bounce a card that's five or less on your opponent's side of the field, back to their hand. Then activate main once per turn. If you have seven or fewer cards um, in your hand, you get to switch this card to active mode. So you have a third 30k dual attacker um just for five energy i know i said just for five energy but that's kind of a lot but the fact that you have um a dual attack 30k that's attacking with this 40k goku black and another like 25k zamasu is very very strong against your opponent and uh people will try to downplay that but you know it's it's gonna work trust me the fact that it swings for 30k power is asking for a super combo out of your opponent's hand or at least two cards out of your opponent's hand to to defend out of this vegeto so this vegeto is asking for uh since it swings twice is asking for two super combos or four cards out of your opponent's hand uh for the turn but other than that guys let's go ahead and get to a deck list that i've been brewing up that i've actually play test with i uh, proxied out this past weekend uh, i've been playing with a couple of friends at locals and you know this deck is super fire let's go ahead and get into that deck list all right here we are get our deck list out i've been testing this like i said uh this past weekend and it's actually really consistent consistent on at what it does but yeah definitely four goku blacks within the deck it's your boss card within the deck um the deck resolves around resolves around this one card so this card is very very good um yeah, definitely a four of within the deck. 
Uh, two Sinister Sickles. I was playing three, but two seems very, very perfect within the deck. Uh, this card is very good against the new red decks um, that's coming out. The, the This gets rid of the 17, uh, the Gohans, and the uh, Kefla cards. This card is just very, very good. Just the fact that it gets rid of two 4K or, or less and bomb decks it instead of KOing, very, very good card um, for blue. Uh, I'm still playing the, um, the old... Uh, super rare trunks is just playing three of it uh self awakener bo um bounces a five drop or uh five drop or less on either side of the field um very very good card i do like it still uh you get to cheat it out off of your goku black um self awakener uh trunks youth very very good card just on play take a life it becomes a 25k if you have seven or seven or less cards uh, four Mize, definitely a four of within the deck. Uh, take two life on play. Self Awakener, um, you can awaken turn two if you hit my my um, back to back. Uh, four of your searchers, Gawasus, look at top five. Uh, grab any Goku Black or Zamasu, very good for consistency. Uh, the one drop of Zamasu, this card, I slept on this card, right? This card, granted, it, it's a uh, 5k power, but it still has a 10k combo. But on play, uh, bottom deck a one drop on your opponent's side of the field. Um, if you play against red, I've been playing against red a lot. If you just go ahead and get rid of their one drop Master Roshi, um, so they won't be able to awaken efficiently, this Zamasu is actually very, very good, especially during a mirror match, also, since, um, you want to get rid of their Zamasus. But yeah, Zamasu, very, very good. This gets rid of Yellow's new Bulma super rare. So yeah, this card is really good also. Um, just for uh, one drop, skillless Zamasus. This card is actually really good also. Yeah, 10K combo, no skill, but 15K power. So this card is actually really good against like uh, red also. Granted, red like next power, but it has a lot more power than um, usual uh, Zamasus. Um, playing for Okai's. Okai super combos, they're just super combos. You can play any super combo. Um, four of the new um, two drops, the Masu super rares, very, very good card. It makes the, it just boosts up the consistency of all the Zamasus within your deck. Plus this card is very, very hard, um, very, very hard to get rid of, uh, especially if you don't attack with it because this card can't get, be, um, get rid of uh, by opponent skills. And this card just guarantees you to get into your uh, Goku Black on the next turn. Uh, for uh, Zamasu Fuse, this card is just phenomenal. This card is gonna be like a blue staple for a while. Uh, when attacking, draw one card, and this card can't be really killed, but you have to kill it twice in order to get, um, in order to uh, kill it. So this card is actually very, very good, very, very good, and is able to cheat off of Goku Black. Uh, I really like to like swing with the Goku Black, uh, play Zamasu, then like tap four and play another Zamasu, and it just keeps their hand size very, very healthy with the Zamasu. Um, playing three of the Vegito Secret Rares, uh, four is, I think is kind of too much, and I think two is too little, but I think three is like the right touch. Uh, if you have Goku Black established and like battle cards and you play a Vegito, it should be game. Vegito is like very, very slept on. Like I said before, this card is amazing. Um, playing two Zenos, I've uh, been testing this card out. The Zenos is actually pretty cool. Um, don't play it too often, but sometimes you have these niche uh, scenarios where Zeno is actually pretty cool. And um, yeah, Zeno is actually pretty cool. Do like it at two. Plus it's a 10K combo, so it's like a never a dead card. Um, playing the three drop Goku Black, I slept on this card. Uh, this card is actually really, really dope. Um, I won a game off of um one of my friends this past weekend because of this goku black as a three drop 20k uh 20k power with 10k combo so the 10k combo is actually really relevant but on play if you have seven or less cards in your hand draw one card so um just like the zamasu uh draws uh draws another card so very very good synergy with your hand but um yeah, you're able to ch um, cheat this out for one if you play another Zamasu also. But yeah, I just swung for game. Uh, I cheated out with your Goku Black and like swung for game uh, towards my opponents uh, with this card also. So this card is actually really good. And um, lastly, there's a Vegeta here, right? They don't have on Deck Planet, they don't have the, the new um, Vegito card, the new SR Vegito card. So 
I just put it here just as a placeholder, uh, but it's a 5k combo and a 25k attack. But on play, you get the bottom deck a one drop or less on your opponent's side of the field. And yeah, it's a Vegito also. But yeah, uh, I just need more time testing out the Vegito. Remember, this is a Vegito, not a Vegeta. But, um, but yeah, I think this card, that card could be very um, detrimental for the deck also. But other than that, guys, let me know down below what you guys think about the Goku Black. Goku Black is going to be very, very good in set two, guys, believe me. Um, blue in general is going to be very good. So watch out. Um, all you blue players that play set one, rejoice because, you know, this is your time to shine. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully this is Goku Black's redemption arc. And uh, yeah, I think this deck is going to be phenomenal with, um, when set two drops. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.